Hi, in this short video I'm going to show you how to get the mean, median, and mode from a data set in Excel. So we have a data set here. The most manual way to find the mean is to use the sum function and then divide by the number of data that you have. So sum, and I'll select the range, closing parentheses. Now I need to divide by the whole function. Put another closing parenthesis, divide by 18. I also need a opening parenthesis here. I should come up with the mean or the average. There we go. So the median, uh, to find this, we want to find the two numbers. Usually it's, you know, with, a, with an odd data set, it would be one number, but here we have two numbers that we need to average, but we have to sort this data first. So I wanna select the data. I'll just use filter, doesn't matter, ascending or descending, we just wanna find the center. Well, this is just asking me if it sees data outside of the sort that I'm doing, so I wanna select no, continue with the current selection. I can X out of this, and now I see that the two center data are 44 and 45. So that can be easily done in your head. That's the average of this is 44 and a half. And the mode, it's easy to see. We have two 44s in here. There's no other numbers that repeat. Another way to find these this type of data is they don't have a mean function but Excel does have an average function that you can use to find the mean. So I can just select this range of data, put a closing parentheses, uh, oh looks like I have too many opening parentheses. No. Let me take one of those out. Okay, so the median, there's a median function. Just like the last function, just gotta input the range. Enter the function. And there's even a mode function. And I usually only use the these functions when I need to put this type of data into some type of formula. That's really the only time I've ever used these functions. Uh, so the third way is you can actually do a descriptive statistics analysis. There is a tool for that. It's in the data tab under data analysis tools. I already have it selected, but if you want to add this to Excel, you can just select it select OK and it should appear in this area under the data um, under the data tab I'm sorry so what we could do is I think you can pre-select the data and it will actually input it we'll see so you have a lot of different options lots of different statistical options but to find this type of data the mean median and mode all we need to look at is descriptive statistics Select OK. No, it didn't add the range. So I'll add the range here. If my mouse will work. OK, so I have a range for the input range. I will group by column. We're using a column. I'm not worried about the label. I didn't even select the label. Output, I want to have my output. How about, oh, let me move this. How about I have my output here? And so I believe it's two columns. Yeah, output should work there. You could also have your output in a new worksheet or a new workbook, just depends on what you want. And then we have to choose, you have four different options. This is gonna give you a lot of data if you select each, but just for the mean, median, and mode, we can just choose the summary statistics 
press OK. And there you go. We have mean, median, and mode. Can't really see all these labels. I could open this up a little bit. And let's make sure we get the same statistics. Yep, that's it. So that's three ways to find the mean, median, and mode in Excel.